So uh, Colleen Adrian here, parent educator and coach, just wanted to make a short video today um, with a little bit of detailed information about how to attune to your child's emotions. So if you've been following my YouTube or video for a while, you know that um, emotional regulation and attuning to your child is really important for their um, emotional well-being and um, creating a secure attachment as best you can. And so how do you attune to your child's emotions? Um, the first thing is to um, just notice them when they happen, right? So um, if your child is having an experience with you or if they come home from you know, a neighbor's place or somebody else's house and they tell you about something that's happened and they're, you know, they might be disappointed, they might be really happy. Um, attuning to them means, um, noticing, Dan Siegel calls it noticing their inner world. So imagining how they might be feeling or what their experience is about and um, reflecting that back to them. Or, you know, sometimes it gets called meeting them where they're at. So that can include naming the emotion. Uh, you know, I see you're feeling, you know, really excited about that. Or um, I see that really upset you. So noticing how they're feeling and then checking in to see if it lands, because sometimes we get it right and sometimes we don't quite get it right. We think we understood and then we don't quite get it right. And, and they'll tell you, of course, or um, if they start to get even a little bit more upset when you say something, then you know that you um, have missed the mark a little bit. So you can just stay curious about that and explore it a little bit more. And then if it's something that's been upsetting for them, you wanna empathize and you really wanna give them that space to express what happened um, and um, express how they're feeling and comfort them if they're wanting comfort. Now, if they're telling you, if you happen to be um, um, co-parenting and you um, and they tell you a story about something that's happened with their other parent or maybe um, maybe they're telling you something that's happened with a teacher at school who didn't attune to them very well there's always um, experiences where your child um, you know has adults in their life that don't attune accurately to them and happens to all of us even when we're trying our best um, what you can do is see if you can figure out how they're feeling and acknowledge their feeling, you know, name it, acknowledge it, empathize, whatever's most appropriate for how they're feeling, okay? And do your best to do that without saying anything about um, how the teacher or the other parent might have handled the situation. In other words, you're going to try to keep your talk about the other adult neutral because that's in your child's best interest and you're going to... Um, um, really acknowledge your child's feeling and, and be the one that comforts them. Um, if they're upset about how the teacher or the other parent handled something, if you can stay focused on how they feel, then eventually um, either if they're sometimes this doesn't happen right away if they're really young, but eventually as they get older and as they've had a um, your support to acknowledge how they feel, you can start supporting them to identify what it is that they need and ask for it. So, you know, I was really um, upset when, you know, the teacher wasn't truthful with us about what the consequences of something were going to be or whatever. Like, can I, so giving them um, permission and, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Having their back, really, when they need to ask for what they want. You know, I want to know up front, you know, what's going to happen if we do X, Y, or Z, or, you know, that's maybe not a very good example, but um, I hope you get the idea. Um, supporting them to um, express their feelings authentically and being able to hold that without um, reacting negatively to it and then also supporting them if they've been upset to um, to feel validated and to ask for what it is that they need is really going to serve them best in the long run. So I hope that's helpful. Thanks for listening.